steel tape 1 meter long is correctly calibrated for a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. So this means at 27 degrees Celsius the 1 meter of this steel tape is the actual 1 meter. So let's say this is 0 of the steel tape. So this mark is 0. Suppose we have the 1 meter mark here. So this 1 meter is actual 1 meter that is 1 meter according to the SI unit at 27 degrees Celsius. So since steel is a metal the coefficient of thermal expansion is big. So this is the coefficient of thermal expansion. So on a hot day it would expand on a cold day it would contract. So on a certain temperature that is at 27 degrees Celsius it is exactly 1 meter the 1 meter of the steel is exactly actual 1 meter okay now the length of a steel rod so we have a rod here so we have a rod here a random rod the length of this rod is measured to be 63 centimeter on a hot day when the temperature is 45 degrees Celsius so on a 45 degree Celsius hot day, the temperature of this rod is 63 centimeter. That is measured by the steel scale. So even the steel scale has been expanded. It is not the 1 meter scale now. The 1 meter of the steel scale is not the actual 1 meter. It is a little more. So the reading obtained of this steel rod would also be more. So it says 63 centimeter. So 63 centimeter is the expanded measurement of the rod since it has elongated the thermal expansion has happened because of increase in temperature. So what is the actual length of the steel rod on that day? So there is nothing like actual length. So in this question what he means by actual length is What he means by actual length is length at 27 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> the length at 27 degrees Celsius is 63 centimeter because the steel rod has expanded. So the 63 centimeter is the expanded length. at 45 degrees Celsius. It is the expanded that is shown by the steel scale. The steel scale is also expanded. Okay, So the 63 centimeter shown by the steel scale is not actually 63 centimeter. It is a little more. Since the scale, the ruler is also expanded. So it is not 63 anymore. The length of the ruler has also increased by a bit. So we don't know how much. So we have to find that out. So it shows 63 centimeter at 45 degrees Celsius. So at 27 degrees Celsius, what would it be showing? So we have to find that out. So we know the formula. Delta L. This equals L alpha times delta T. Now delta L is final length minus initial length. This is equal to initial length alpha delta T. Therefore, final length equals to initial length 1 plus alpha delta t. So, initial length is initial length is the length is 27 degrees Celsius that is 63 centimeter 1 plus alpha here is 1.2 into 10 to minus 5. And the change in temperature 45 to 27. So we have to calculate this out. This gives us 63.013608 centimeters. So this is the actual length on the hot day. The same rod on the day of 27 degrees Celsius would be 63 centimeters long but on a hot day of 45 degrees Celsius the rod actually is 63.0136 
zero eight centimeters long. Okay. What is the length of the same steel rod on a day when the temperature is twenty seven degrees Celsius? So, on a day when the temperature is twenty seven degrees Celsius, the length of the rod is sixty three centimeter. So that is the initial length. The length at twenty seven degrees Celsius is sixty three centimeters itself. Okay. I hope that is clear.